Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of dilated gut loops with intestinal obstruction and perforation in a child of about 6 years. You can see the gut loops. The patient is examined with standard 3.5 mega probe and you can see the free fluid seen in the lower abdominal cavity in the area just above the urinary bladder and you can see small perforation is seen with small adhesions free fluid scene. The main finding in bowel obstruction include dilated bowel loops with or without the presence of fluid levels. On sonography, bowel obstruction is considered to be present when the lumen of the fluid filled small bowel loop is dilated to more than 3 cm. The length of the segment is more than 10 cm and peristalsis of the dilated segment is increased as shown by, by the to and fro or whirling motion of the bowel contents. As you will see later in this video, the bowel movements of to and fro or whirling motion of bowel contents. Well, now the normal diameter of the colon is 3 to 8 centimeter. Normal colonic caliber ranges from 3 to 8 centimeter with the largest diameter in the cecum. The remainder of the colon is dilated when it is greater than 6 cm and the cecum is not larger than 9 cm in diameter. These are the figures for adult. But as you can see, you are seeing a case of a child aged about 6 years. So the bowel obstruction simply means that baby's intestines are measuring larger in some parts than the others and can be a sign of complication. But in this case, the fluid, thick and turbid fluid is seen due to the perforation. When distended, the Loops of the small bowel are usually positioned in the center of the abdomen with the proximal jejunal obstruction. A gas fluid level usually exists in the stomach unless the patient has vomited recently. Occasionally, one to two loops of the distended small bowel may be seen in the left upper quadrant. Now you can see the to and fro or whirling movements of the intestinal contents as they are not passing smoothly due to the intestinal obstruction. This is the dilated gut loops and diameter measures about 2 cm. You can see the movements of the intestinal contents to and fro movements on supine images small bowel obstruction often demonstrate a step ladder pattern of dilated loops of bowel that appear to the stacked on one another Variable amount of gas is seen in the colon depending on the severity and duration of the obstruction. A gasless abdomen can also be seen if distended lobes are fluid filled.
readily accessible in the emergency department abdominal ultrasound can facilitate diagnosis of the small bowel obstruction an imaging modality readily available in the emergency department besides ultrasound can assist in quickly diagnosing this condition now the causes of the intestinal obstruction are usually small bowel obstruction is caused by a variety of pathological processes the most common cause of small bowel obstruction in developed countries is intra abdominal adhesions accounting for approximately 65% to 75% of cases followed by hernia crohn disease malignancy and valvulus the common symptoms are nausea and vomiting crampy abdominal pain or discomfort stomach distension constipation and liability to pass gas you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks